So he came back for a little bit more of that canine bitch sleeve. Well, right on. Coon and I just got done getting our heads fixed in the tanks down there by the works area, and we was heading back up towards the dorms when I figured, hey, man, there might be a little bit of time left in the day. I'm going to head over here to the gym see what's cooking. Coon's like, go ahead on, K9. I'm going to go back to the dorm. So he rolled up that way. I took off towards the gymnasium, walked up in that bad boy, saw some people shooting some pool, playing some ping pong, and looked over. I saw Edge and uh, Jeff and Snoopy playing a little bit of cards. So I rolled over there. I said, you got enough room for one more? And they were like, hell yeah, we need one more. Let's play some spades, baby. I was like, right on. So I sat down, you know, went ahead and started rolling out them cards a little bit before I could even look at them. Pow, here she comes. Miss Thumper, Miss Bad News, Miss, all I got for you is vegetables, let me tell you. Sure enough, she comes up to me and she goes, K-9, can I talk to you? And I was like, yeah, what's going on? She goes, well, you sure you want to do this in front of your friends? And I was like, <laughs> like that, not everybody in the campus is going to know what the hell's going on in five minutes anyway. What's going on, Thumper? And she says, well, Destiny just wants you to know that, you know, y'all are just friends and everything, but she thinks that you all shouldn't be hanging out as much as you have been. And I was like, is that right? And she goes, well, she doesn't want you to be upset. I catch out of the corner of my eye at the end of the gymnasium at the doorway there, old Destiny standing there. So I stood up and I was like, hey, if you just want to be friends, I thought that's what we was. You don't want to hang out? We ain't got to hang out. You ain't got to send your flunky over here to tell me, though. You can talk to me, right? She just disappeared out of the doorway and Thumper took off and I sat back down and looked at my car. I was like, you know, what are you going to do? Heck, you know, right then old Ed says, uh, well, I know you don't want to hear this right now, but, uh, wow. And I was like, yeah, wow. What are you going to do, though, Ed? What can you do? I don't really feel like playing cards, I can tell you that. So I put my cards down, got my jacket back on, and just headed back out to the dorm. Just sat there and pondered, let me tell you. About a month went by now. It's about uh, April. It's kind of warming up, not so much snow anymore. Not half bad, but okay, now I just ain't being what it used to be, let me tell you. It ain't as fun as it was. <laughs> and uh, so I'm down at works area, you know, and getting ready to get off. And it's Tuesday in the evening, you know, heading back out. And my way just says, hey, man, you know, K-9, you're awful down, man. How about we go on a pass, get your mind off this? I was like, pass? Yeah, that's a hell of an idea, man. Let's do that. Where's pass heading to? He goes, South Dakota, man. Rapid City. How's that? And I said, man, that sounds excellent, man. Let's do that. I'm signing up for that bad boy. Now, you had to be on the good list. You couldn't have any demerits or problems with anybody to be able to go on these passes. And you had to pay for your hotel and your food, but they'd uh, send you up there on a Job Corps bus so you didn't have to pay for any transportation, which was sweet potatoes, let me tell you. Come on. Let me tell you, I could not wait until Friday. <laughs> so anyway, Friday come rolling around, and uh the end of the day, and Got it all packed up, had my pass and everything, jumped on the bus, and I was ready to roll, let me tell you, man. Yep, that's right, Destiny gets on the bus, I'm like, oh, wow, maybe something's going to happen this weekend. I didn't even know she was going on pass. It's looking up for old canine, I like this. Gas Meyer comes in there, everybody's sitting down, he's like, all right, I don't want a bunch of trouble. Y'all can talk, but don't be screaming and yelling, you understand that? Old Genghis goes, we understand. Gas Meyer sits down, the bus starts it up. Genghis says, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Everybody kicks in, starts singing, Gasmire's shaking his head, turns the bus onto the highway and off to Rapid City, South Dakota, we go, baby. Well, once we got up there, it was fun as hell because there's 60 of us, so we take over pretty much the whole hotel. And let me tell you, we was going to have a blast. So we unloaded unloading the bus, you know, get our rooms and head up to our rooms and me and Edge got a room together and... We had a little, what little bit of stuff we had, and I hear a little knock on the door. I go to the door, and there's Genghis. I was like, what's up, big gang? Ready to go get some alcohol and some festivity stuff? And he's like, well, I am K-9, but I want to tell you something. I was like, yeah, what's up, big G? He's like, well, I want you to know Rick's here. I was like, you got to be kidding me. He's like, no, hey, I told uh, Destiny that I was going to keep you in check. So everything's everything? I said, everything's everything to me, big G. Ain't got to worry about big C. Come on, turn the page. <laughs>